for the women's competition. Margaret Hewlett leads Carol Ulrich 28.65 to 27.425, a difference of 1.225. Very tough to do with one rotation remaining. Now, the men have two apparatus remaining. Kyle Asano still trails Jorge Garcia, but it's very close at 0.75. With two rotations left, that's an attainable goal. Kyle Asano will be up first on the parallel bars. Glide kip, reverse straddle, drop peach. Stutz handstand. You're having a little trouble. That was kind of a neat move. Using a little originality on that... Leg cut turn. Leg cut turn. That's exactly what I would have called it. Good job. Can we call that a Riley now since I named it? <laughs> oh, nice. Five. Pike double. This month. Certainly that was the best part of the exercise, the ending. He had a little trouble early on. He showed some of the requirements. Of course, the judges are looking for a swinging C part. They're also encouraging the gymnast to do more under bar work. He does a glide kip reverse straddle. This is a peach. Peach to a handstand. That is an under bar requirement. The judges need to see an element of at least B value, the medium range value, that goes to or from a hang. And right here, he does that leg cut turn. Which I guess if he competes internationally, we'll have to call an Asano. This dismount was great. Really nice, high, and really flips over easily on a pike double band. Over rotates it a little. That's tough. The score he received for that performance on the parallel bars was 9.20. And he trails by 0.75. So let's see what Jorge Garcia can do on the parallel bars. Garcia is going to mount on the end as well. There's a glide. Swing to a handstand. All right. It's a nice element. See, he's really doing a lot of underbar work. As I mentioned, the judges are encouraging this because he shows some really interesting work on a giant reverse hack, giant. <laughs> now he's having trouble with some of the easier elements as we saw him have problems earlier. He can do a lot of big tricks. He's done four five now major underswinging elements which is a nice unique way of approaching the parallel bars although it was a really one-sided routine because all of his difficulty came from one style of skill all underbar giant swing elements he needs to show a more well-rounded exercise here I, I guess you can see why he had trouble he did a reverse touch to a straddle cut he was having trouble there so what does he do he kicks right back into his forte which is the giant swing elements you can see here, he does a giant down to a front up rise to the end, swing back, and a giant to a tuck double back. So it's a really interesting idea. I think he needs to show a more well-rounded exercise. I believe the judges agreed with you. Now this is going to make the scoring very interesting because Jorge Garcia received an 8.15 for that routine. Remember, Kyle Asano received a 9.20 and was trailing by 0.75. Going into the high bar, these two gymnasts are very, very close. But right now, let's move to the final event for the women. And you are looking at Carol Ulrich on the floor exercise. Nice high tuck double. a very difficult move. You don't see a lot of women do double full punch fronts and she just about made it right. She didn't take much of a break after that. I'm sure right into that double stack handstand.
run. Double full. Carol Ulrich. Nice finish. Strong tumbler, too. She does a really high tuck double back. She actually opens up just a little early. You'll see she has to take a step forward, but she is airborne. The second tumbling run right here. Good speed. She's going to do round off back handspring to a double full. Now watch this. As soon as she lands, punch to a front. That is really tough on the old ankles. And it was a little bit low, but she pulled it out. Her last tumbling run, a double full. A little low there, you can tell. She was running out of juice, but she did a good job at pulling the landing around and making a very strong finish. And the score that the judges gave her for that routine, 9.25 for Carol over on the floor exercise. Her opponent, Margaret Hewlett. We'll face Brandy Johnson in the next rotation. Brandy Johnson, of course, the winner of program number one, in case you did not see that. This is program number two, a series of 11 shows here on ESPN. Margaret Hewlett will go up against Brandy Johnson. is sort of one directional. She's very good in front tumbling. She opened with a double twisting front. She dismounted with a one and a half twisting front. But she probably needs work on her back tumbling. She has no real power in the takeoff for the double backs or the double folds or the triple folds. This, by the way, is the final Watch this move here. This is really great, though, I have to admit. Handspring front, double twist, and she pulls it right around to a front head spring. She'll get points back for originality because that is really interesting stuff. Now right here, she's going to do front step out. She's a little low through this move. Round off back, handspring full. She could beat that up if she could at least do a double full on that room and get more difficulty points back from the judges. Her score out distances Carol Ulrich, 9.6 to 9.25. Margaret Hewlett will advance.